right, so you read the title, you saw the example. Today, Josh is gonna show you how to create a 3D box animation in After Effects. Nobody puts me in a box. Or should I say a cube? <laughs> we say this every time. You can download our project files if you wish to use this as a template or just break it down. So the first thing we're gonna do is create the sides that will build out our box. So we'll go to layer, new, solid. And we're gonna use a width and height of 900 by 900. You may use any square one-to-one -one size, but if you wanna keep the math easy, you may follow along with us with a 900 by 900, and we'll click OK. So now that our box is created, we'll go to Layer, Pre-Compose. We'll call this Box 1, and we'll click on Leave All Attributes, and click OK. Then we can double-click on the comp, and here is our box. From here, we're welcome to grab the Textile tool and just type out our text. So we're gonna speed along here, but this is an opportunity for you to add as much text as you like and animate that however you see fit. This isn't a text animation tutorial, nor is it required uh, for this type of thing. So when you have your text typed out, uh, you can go back to your previous comp and everything will be updated. Now we have to create five more duplicates of this box. So what I'm gonna do is come here to my project panel and I'm gonna see box one here. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it by going to edit, duplicate. And now I'm welcome to double click this composition and you know remove titles or just quickly change out the text because obviously you're gonna want you know the text to say something different for every different side. And then once my text is typed out, that's great. So now what I'm gonna do is just quickly duplicate four more sides. I'll just hold down Control D and just go ahead and create duplicates. And then just quickly just double click through these and you know change your text or hide them if you just want to have like a solid uh, side. That's completely fine. That's what I'm doing. And that's great. So now that we have all of our sides created, now we can be back in our main composition and we can turn this into a 3D cube. Okay, so with our first box in here by default, what I can do is just hit enter on my keyboard. I'm gonna rename this to front, so it'll be box one front. And I'm gonna turn this into a 3D layer. And I'm simply just gonna hit P on my keyboard. We're gonna come here to the Z value and we're gonna set this first value to half of the actual size of the box. So we know this is 900 by 900. We want this to be negative 450 because this is going to come closer to us. So if your box size was 1000 by 1000, uh, you'll want this to be negative 500. Okay. So now I want to bring in the next box here and I'll call this the bottom. So we'll call this box to bottom. So then I'll turn this into a 3D layer as well. Hit R my keyboard for rotation. I'll come here to the X rotation and set this to 90 degrees. So you'll see this thin line facing straight towards us. Then we'll hit P on our keyboard. So since we want this to be the bottom, and we know that we need to change the value by 450 because that's half of our box size. What we can do is do 540 plus 450 here, a little bit of math. So we know the Y value needs to be 990. So if I create my camera here, you'll see that now this is connected uh, in 3D space. All right, so to finish out the box, we're just gonna use simple math and a little bit of rotation. So we're gonna bring in one box at a time, turn it into 3D layer and name it accordingly. So I'll call this box three back. Okay, and since we want to move this back in time and we're at zero Z space, we just got to set this to 450 because that's half of 900. And since we already have the bottom in here, what we can do is we can take this layer and just duplicate it, bring it to the bottom of our stack. We can rename it to box four top. And we come here to box four, hold down Alt on our keyboard, and we can just drag and drop this to replace it on there. Then you hit P on your keyboard for position. And since the middle point of the Y value is 540, all we need to do is subtract 450 from that. So that'll leave us with a Y value of 90. So we'll set that Y position to 90. And if I create a camera again, and with my camera in here, I can rotate around and see, okay, that we are doing this correctly. So now we just have the left and right. We'll go ahead and bring both of these other boxes in here. And again, we'll set three layers, rename them to left and right. We'll bring up the rotations and we'll set the Y rotations to both of these to 90 degrees. Then we'll hit P on keyboard for position. And this time we're gonna be affecting the X value. 960 minus 450 is 510. So for the left side, we'll set the X value to 510. And then from here, we'll add 560 plus 450. And that'll be 1410 for the right side for the X value. So now our box is completely done and every single side is intact. Before we move on, as you know, creating motion graphics from scratch is obviously very time consuming and it can be incredibly challenging. That's why we made over 5,000 templates to help you save time and produce awesome work under one subscription. For example, you can preview thousands of templates from any of our packs and click apply. Then you can change the template parameters and then you are done. So if you're looking to get an edge in your business or your career, check out every template we have with our links below. So we're so close to finishing this out. All we need to do is animate the box. To animate this correctly, we'll go to layer, new, null object. We'll set the null object to a 3D layer. 
and we'll grab all of our layers except for the null object and parent it to the null that we just created. And now if we hit R on keyboard for rotation, we should be able to easily rotate this from the center of our box. We can animate this easily. So we can add a keyframe for you know X, Y, and Z rotation if that's what we want to do. We can move forward to say two seconds and we can just you know, rotate it like so if you like. You know, we set the X rotation to say negative 45 degrees. We can come here to the Z rotation, maybe turn that by a little bit as well. So I'll set my rotation to these values, but you may do whatever you like. And we can have this stay like this for like a few frames. I'll add a keyframe for all this. I'll move forward to like say a little past three seconds and I can rotate this on to say the next slide here. So it'll look just like that. I grab all my keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy. Easy keyframes go to our graph editor. I can grab all my points here in the middle and just kind of drag in these handles right to the center like this. So it'll just give us a nice snapping animation. Um, and I can quickly just create a new camera, go to layer new uh, camera and click okay. I'm gonna come here to the top and grab this uh, dolly towards cursor tool, which is the Z camera tool is what I like to call it. And I can just zoom out of this scene a little bit to give us, and this will give us a little bit more room for our box. So when it's all said and done, you have a really awesome 3D cube effect here in After Effects. Hey. Did you know you can download our free After Effects pack? Those links can be found below. Oh, and always be creating 